Hi everyone, today is Friday, March 27, 2015. Wow, this is a very hot day today. Uh, I want to show you guys the temperature gauge really quick. Look at this. It's almost 36 degrees Celsius and it's about 95, 96, 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Very, very hot. And I'm under my uh, little patio here, so I got some a lot of shade here. Uh, if you go outside, you know you get burned instantly. <laughs> it's really hot. Uh, but today I want to talk about seed collection, and I want to show you guys some of my, the seeds that I collected, and were and some were given to me over the years, and some I actually purchased over the years. Uh, so here I got all oh, this little brown bag here, little envelopes. Those are all the seeds I collected, uh, and some, like I say, some were given to me. The exotic one, like land zone, you know, were brought from the Philippines and from uh, Vietnam. Or some, this one, this is flower, uh, persimmon, and now this one is really one of my cherished one, custard apple, from Vietnam, not 2010. Now I've been trying desperately to germinate the the, the, the seed, but it's difficult. And the seed is not, you know, not small. It's like this. It's kind of like sherry moya. Uh, it is related to sherry moya, but sherry moya uh, a lot easier to germinate. Sherry moya is a lot bigger. You see that? Uh, so I have green, green melon, bitter melon, white bitter melons, Indian bong choy, red cherries, okra, Thai peppers. Uh, what else? I got here. Oh, this is. All this is okra. Okra is easy to collect. They 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 dried up very easy and it's easy. Uh, red noodle beans, yard bean. Uh, this one it's Milabar spinach. This one is Chinese chai. And of course here I got the California wildflower puppy. Now the first year I have to to buy I have to buy the um, the seeds, but over the course of the years I you know I, I save a lot of. Seeds here, seed spot here. You can see here. There's hundred, literally hundreds and thousands of seeds here. Once I open up the seed pot here, there's probably twenty seeds in this little seed pot here. Uh, so why do I save seeds? Uh, there's one reason is really economic reason. And if you look at this size here, all this seed package here, uh, I bought over the course of the years. Uh, you know, some two dollars, some dollar fifties. Not that expensive. But you add them up, you know, it's quite, you know, they add up. Um, like this one here, we're a good example. White bitter melon, uh, the white bitter melons are, are very rare. Uh, it's $2 for this pack. But guess what? Guess how many seeds are, were there in, in, in this little package? Only three seeds. Three seeds, about 67 cents a, a seed, so that's really expensive. And I forgot about that. I do have the white bitter melon seed from, from a year ago. Um, you know, and I forgot I went out and bought some. Now, if you ask me, uh, the year is 2013, will it be too old to grow? No, if you keep the seed in a good dry conditions, away from extreme hot or cold, uh, the seed the sea actually survive pretty long, okay? As long as you don't expose them to heat, dry heat and they'll dry out and they'll die or extreme cold uh, freezing then they might they might die you know other than that they won't they'll survive for some time so that's the bitter melon white bitter melon uh, bean bush bean uh, this is loofah uh, now this is opal uh, calabash gourd uh, this one I don't need to buy no more because you know I saved the seed from, uh, from my, my plant uh, this is a gift sunflowers this is a new variety that I'm going to plant. This is a tender green cucumber. And this is Jubilee. This is a great tomato instead of a cherry tomato. They call it cherry, but it's actually a great tomato. Uh, so lettuce, you know, it's Roman stripe. Now this one here, asparagus bean, uh, the yard bean green variety. I don't need to buy them no more because I saved the seeds. Uh, Chinese eggplant, uh, yeah, it's difficult to save the seeds. And sometimes it's even very difficult to, to germinate them because they're very small. Uh, and here, again, I got a whole bunch of vegetable here. I can go through them for you. Look at this. Uh, okra, no need to, to buy them no more. 
and basil, and no need to buy more tomatoes. Same thing. Tomatoes, I never have to buy any more seeds. Only except for the exact, exact, exotic variety that I, I want, then I have to buy the seeds. So I'm going to clean them up uh, and toss them out in some L1. Uh, the other benefits of, of, of seed saving besides the you know besides saving money, uh, besides the economical reason, it's the good seed from your garden is has been have been tested out before. Like my okra, uh, I grew them every year, so the seeds are good. And when you collect the seed, you know the seeds are good. Uh, so, so that's really the most important reason. Is it's it's you it's the seed that you grow from the backyard that has been tested and is doing well. So you should regrow them again, collect them and regrow them. That's just naturally the way it should be. Uh, a lot of seeds here I can't I can't really germinate like this one here. This jackfruit, uh, longan is good, uh, and then sweet tamarind. I have some chili here. Jackfruit is difficult. I, I did able was able to I was able to germinate the, the, the tree, uh, but you know when it comes to winter the, the tree die. And I do have some right there. That's papaya. Okay, so I just started this week uh, to uh, you know sow some seeds. I don't have a greenhouse, so I have to do it whenever the weather permits. So it's getting warm now. And allow the seed to bask in the sun here to get some warmth, some heat. Uh, so they'll 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 germinate easily. All these cups here, the recycled cups, I use. Uh, all the six packs are also recycled, and all the plants that I purchased in the past. Okay, so I hope you uh, start saving seed, so that way you'll save some money, uh, and more importantly. Uh, the seed that you grow from your garden will be probably the best seeds. My tomatoes are the best. I always save the seed from my tomatoes. Um, okay, well, thank you for watching. And uh, if you like this video and if you have comment, please subscribe to my. Please post a comment and please subscribe to my channel. Uh, and one thing I want to mention: uh, one of my viewer asked me about. You know, getting some of the green bitter melon seeds. If you live close by, um, I, I will glad be glad to send you some seed for free. Uh, I do this as a hobby, so I don't. I'm not doing doing this as a business or anything like that. Uh, but you know, I cannot do. I cannot send out package after package. You know, hundreds of packages. I mean, I don't have the resources to do it. It will cost me a lot of money. Uh, so, if you passionate about it, and if you couldn't find the seeds in the store. Like I say, the seeds are relatively cheap, right? About a dollar something. Um, if you could not find it where you live, then please send me a private email, and I will try to see if I can send you some uh, seed for free. Okay? No promise. No promises. Uh, so please send me a private email uh, with your address. Well, thank you for watching, and and uh, you have a good day. And let me get back to work.